good Friday morning, Coastal Ben. A busy morning for us here at KIIII, keeping you guys updated. Right now, I know we have an update to our road closures. We'll give you that in just a bit. But for now, you can notice those winds are still breezy. Traffic moving along slowly along SPID. And that needs to be the message this morning. If you have to head out in your early morning hours, definitely take it slow on those roads. Otherwise, hopefully you're bundled up. Upper 20s here in Corpus Christi, but you feel like temperature is at 14 degrees. That's really the trend across the coastal Bend area. Everyone feeling like the teens this morning when you factor in these northwesterly winds that are still breezy between about 15 and 30 miles an hour. Here's a look at our temperatures all across the coastal Bend area. Everyone at or below freezing this morning here in Corpus Christi. We're there in those upper 20s. Alice Robstown in those low 30s this morning. Wind speeds otherwise. Again, this is our main culprit for that chilly breeze. The reason why you're going to need the gloves, the layers, all of it today because we're going to be between 15, 30 miles an hour through most of our early morning hours. Those will start to die on off later on this evening, certainly into your weekend. But the wind chills, this is the impact in the teens all across the coastal Bend area. Beeville feeling like 12 degrees this morning. Radar and satellite look over the last six hours. We had a bulk of that wintry precipitation in our overnight hours as of this morning. We're still seeing a few little spots of sprinkles and that light rain transitioning into that freezing rain. Here's that area and you'll see it better on the next slide of where we're seeing some of those uh, dangerous road conditions this morning along SPID and you'll notice that sleet, that freezing rain that's popping up here, those colors, that is what's making those closures have to go into effect this morning. Again, we do have an update to those though, but still what is still in effect is this freeze warning until early this morning. We also have a wind chill warning in effect until noon time. It's going to feel cold in these teens all day long. Your temperatures will slowly gradually begin to increase into those mid to upper 30s in your afternoon hours. But if you've got to go anywhere this morning, expect to feel very cold. We're going to stay at or below uh, freezing all morning long. You'll notice until 7 a.m. We still have that chance at a possible wintry precipitation, that freezing rain sticking with us. We don't expect to see a high accumulation of that in these morning hours, but again, just a trace of that could make it dangerous for roads this morning. Otherwise, winds will stay breezy all day long. The sun's going to start to come out. Our lovely friend there around uh, 5 p.m. or afternoon hours. Otherwise, the, the trend for today is going to be just damp and cold and windy. Your wind chills in the teens throughout your morning all the way until noon time. Check this out. If you have any plans to go to lunch and you want to be outside, you might want to rethink that. It's still going to feel pretty cold. You're going to you're going to have to definitely bundle up into uh, your afternoon evening hours. It's still going to feel like 20 degrees. I'm going to pitch it over to Carly, a meteorologist who's in here helping us out. She's actually new to the KIII team and you're going to be seeing a lot of, more of her here on first edition. Carly, we're talking about these wind chills. We have that wind chill warning still in effect. Is that something that we're going to have to deal with going into Saturday and our weekend? Yeah, you know, the, the bad news is the wind is going to stay gusty all day long today, but the good news is we'll see improving conditions in terms of wind and even temperatures heading into the weekend, but still very cold conditions are expected into your Saturday and for the wind. Uh, it's definitely advised to wear a hat today, not only to like keep your hair calm, but like a beanie will keep your ears warm as well. Keep everything under control. Here's a look at those wind gusts. So still the strongest winds look to be between now and 9 a.m. We'll still see wind gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour by 7 p.m., but notice improving conditions overnight and into Saturday. So here's the deal. Wind chills are still going to be cold all day today, but even into tomorrow morning, we start off with a wind chill around 19. That'll be a little better than this morning, right? Your temperatures, though, notice Corpus Christi 30 degrees Saturday morning at 8 a.m., but we get toward Orange Grove, George West, Mathis, these areas are seeing temperatures in the upper 20s once again, and with lighter winds, we could even be talking about 25 to 28 degrees for those temperatures. So a hard freeze watch is in place, especially for those areas further inland, coast, 
closer to the coast, just a freeze watch. You'll be closer to 30, 32 degrees. Here's a look at our temperature trend by Sunday. We'll stay just barely above freezing. Then we'll see those temperatures around 40 degrees for lows overnight heading into next week. Weekend weather looks pretty good uh, after we get through the morning. At least we'll be trying to thaw out this afternoon nearing 50 degrees. We'll be back around 58 degrees for your high on Sunday, but we are looking at areas across Texas. Remember winter blasts across the region. Region. Still icy roads further north you travel. They'll start to thaw out a little bit, but Saturday looks like our best day with a lot of sunshine. Travel conditions will really improve across the state by then. That's going to be thanks to high pressure building in, bringing us some sunshine. That high pressure is going to work its way throughout the state, and that's going to improve our conditions. However, once that high pressure begins to move a little further to the east, we are going to start to see more rain uh, returning back to the coastal bend. The good news is our temperatures will be above freezing, so we won't have to deal with this winter mess then. Looking at your seven day forecast, check it out. We have that warming trend into the week in a little cooler with the rain on Monday, but then we'll have our highs back around 60 to 70 degrees there by Thursday, partly sunny and cool. But overall we have warmer Warm temperatures to look forward to. Warm I see, the, to sun. I see the sun. <laughs> I know <laughs> Thank you, the Carly. sun is amazing. It thaws you out, brightens your day. Yes, no matter what. it does. And so that. do you, Carly. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs>